Hi viewers, welcome to um, my YouTube channel Curiosity Box and I have finished building my power miners set so this is my Lego building area as you can see so the sets of the power miners I was building was 8964 which is the driller truck and 8709 which is this thing here and it's the minor twirly thing midget thing so and then we're going to play pulled up power miners insect video insect video to say i also made this makeshift elizabeth but it would be even better if there was pulled up minifigures actual pulled up official minifigures please 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 because then everybody would be in it and it, it would be really cool so let actually this let's do a bigger inset this is all my pole dark figures i just put together so this is elizabeth and it's got the skirt on and then i where has he gone ah here we go and then i made a francis having a tantrum and i made a the mouths there and I made a George and he's got lots of money and I had a Garrick a Lego doggy for Garrick and the main man Ross Paul Dark semi naked so yeah so back to the main video yeah but first of all let's get the truck to go with this mm, thing see i get the truck and you get this digger man but i borrowed somebody's head so I can make up Ross Paul dark. So this is so all the professional Lego YouTube people are, probably will oh no where did I put the hook? Well I hope it came off this because oh, look at it. This bit here is meant to have a hook on the end but it didn't where because I'm crap at knots and I think something's broke off something I'm not sure so this is the truck that I made so my quick review of the problem I just set is that they're, they're fun to build there's a lot of technic um, processes in the build so if you prefer your block building yeah, might not enjoy this as much but I thought it was a challenge and it was very interesting to see all the tech combinations and how to make moving parts and things and how you can I've forgotten all my words today how you can make like things move and it's a very interactive set because this bit moves at the front and you can fire a trap out like a net out the squizzy then this is this bit you put a bloke in but that was really annoying oh there's hook because the bloke kept falling out as I was building that and then there's all these different parts I mainly I got the set a few years back when I was on my other Lego I've got to have everything binge and I got this picked this out because I like these wheels the wheels for it obviously if you want to see a proper review of this this set this is just my having a laugh video if you want to see a proper review my highest recommendation on youtube is jan bricks because he is a me i put a link to his channel in the description box because he is amazing at reviewing things so if you are a um this lego person who's come to see a serious video then i'd probably go go over to his channel and he'll give you a proper look at it 
So this is the Palmyra set and it did come out a few years ago so it's only available on the second hand market now. But if you were to find a good deal for it on the second hand market I would recommend getting it because it's really cool and you get some really cool parts. I've already spotted some different parts for some micro building kind of stuff. So this is the truck and it trucks along and there's a man on a computer in it and it's a big truck. So, so basically Ross, Ross Poldark and Demelza, they have decided to go into steam and build a steam powered power miners. And it's all actually Steve because you get little flamey bits. So, can you see it? So, Ross Paldock and Demelza. Demelza's going in there. This was going to be like a let's play. Um, but I find it difficult. But Demelza's in the car. Oh, I found a Garrick. Garrick the dog. And then here's George with his money. I will buy this man off you. Now I've been to the ticketing and you will look by the man. Oh yeah, this is my Ross. Let me give you, uh, let me just my focus to give you a look at Ross. I actually borrowed his head off one of the power miners because I've, I looked at the power man it saw the red scar on his cheek and thought oh, it's Ross I can use that face for Ross Paul dog see and then I got this the the bare chest is from the Olympic boxer so it's got sweat on it which is gold and then he's got the beige trousers but I had to cheat a bit with the hair because because it looks okay from the front but if you turn it round it's really long so it's a bit too long to actually be Ross's hair but that's how I made Ross and it is really cool so yeah I basically I'm doing this video I stop keep banging my chair into my drawers but I do need a chair if anybody can recommend this is just a, a computer chair from the the other room if anybody can recommend a good ergonomic chair so I have seen one from Ikea which I might get, it's got loads of bright colours on it so I might get that chair. So this is a very random video, but this is like no plan whatsoever, I just needed to take this because I really want to take it apart pretty much immediately, it won't be on display because I've got some other sets that I recently um, bought, treated myself to and I want to start building them so I can because they're more like the more of the architecture and hotel, a grand hotel thing. Because then I can do some stories with the hotel thing. Because it's the Lego Friends Hotel what I'm building next, so I can do some stories with it. So, yes, whenever I touch this stuff, things fall off. So it will be taken apart pretty soon because I don't really have the room to display all my Lego and I don't want to because I want to be able to take it apart and do mocks. But first I've got loads of sets I want to build. So then I've got George and... not George... Francis and his... Francis Smash. Because it's like Hulk. Oh, Francis. Francis after transformation into a complete tantrum. So yeah, I didn't have a mini pack of playing cards for him. Otherwise I would have had a mini pack of playing cards. These are the guys you actually get in the set. You don't actually get a whole dot. So yeah, Demel's is on this. So let me bring it forward a bit and I'll show you the mechanism. So you get this truck and it's meant to, it actually does all that stuff. 
and it's meant to catch the, the get get off the thing Dumalzi. Thank you. See Dumals is going to go and get some flowers for the house. And then I'll show you the mechanism. So you've got this big wheel here and you can actually turn it with this knob here and the car goes up here. I'm sorry this isn't filmed. This isn't the easiest way of showing you but you catch it under these bits here. Hang on. Show the trucks in the back of this. <gasps> And then they tip the, the treasure into this truck if you don't float it across the beam first, which is what I did, but I think I found it now because it must have been on top somewhere. So you get these treasure bits and you get to catch them. There's also a fancy element power miner set is that you get these sort of rock trolls and you're meant to fire like they these at them and put a net over them but they're really cool pieces I don't know if you could get these these rock troll men in any other kit but these are real cool pieces so I like that oh um, yeah and here's the the baby rock troll and you've caught him in a cage so That's basically the story of cage. So then you've got these, and people, the guy on the brick show sort of collects these, and this is a blue one. I just think there's real cool set. If, and you learn, you do learn a lot of technique building and learn motion, how to build motion into your Lego sets. And it's really cool so I totally recommend power miners it is awesome and it will now be taken apart so I can build the hotel because I'm really excited to build a hotel eventually I will show you my Lego storage solution which is the IKEA Alex drawers because you get a nice surface at a decent height and you get to spread out your pieces instead of having them in tiny little boxes because having them in tiny little boxes is not really for me because I find it really clunky. I find my brain finds it easier to see things when they're all spread out and I can see all the different pieces, all different types of pieces and then my brain starts do basically with marks my brain does Google Im um, image search. I don't want to go too much into this because I'm building a mock city which I will talk about it properly when I can show you that. I'm doing Mock City and it's really fun but that's going to be one of my autism education things so I don't want to go into, into too much detail about it now. But yeah, this is what I've been building. It's amazing and I've got Ross Pulled Out and I really hope they come up with actual Ross Pulled Out Lego. They should do a Pulled Out Lego and they should have like a donkey that um, pulls the thing and they could actually make a mine and you know how they've got the Batman set Batman Wayne Manor and then it goes into the mine they could um, do one of them except it's got all the workings of all the guys in the mine and it's got all the rock face and and it, it, it shows it's the cross section of an old um, mine in Cornwall and it's, you build it and it shows you exactly how they worked and how they chipped at the rocks and then they brought it up and how they pumped the water out of the mine. That would be amazing. I am planning to do some attempt while well, planning. I've got like a list in my head sort of moving along of some pole dark stuff I might attempt. But that would be amazing. So please let go. And there's a huge pulled up fan base because they are, there's a thing on the Video Times website where it's um Battle of the Fandoms and Pulled Dark last time I looked was 
completely trouncing Star Wars. See, there's a fan base for a Paul Dart Lego working cross section of the copper mines from Cornwall. That would be amazing. And then they could have a set that's like the cliff face and Paul Dart and his horse. And it would be amazing. And then they could do Trenworth House and Nampare and the town. They could do the town. That would be cool. And then they could do the dress shop. And they could do all the different shops, and they'd be amazing. And they could do them, um, build them. I forgot what they're called. Them build figures like the Star Wars ones, but they're like pulled up ones, and it's got all detail of the costumes and everything. And that would be amazing. And I think they should do that. Oh yeah, I also made. Let me adjust my focus again. I also made one. Ah, uh, hang on. Let's see. Where's it going to be in focus? I also made a sort of version of me. So I can snuggle up to Paul Dark and go, I love you, Ross. I love you. Let me kiss your abs. Yeah. So. Yeah, and yes, um, the Doctor Who, my fellow Doctor Who fans, I am going to be doing a video about um, Pearl, Pearl Mackey as Bill, because I think she's awesome and I really want her to be from the 1980s, so yeah, there will be something coming up on my Doctor Who channel, but I have to... Um, I have a couple of things I need to do. I need to do my fan art first. So I'll be doing some fan art and, and arranging that into a video somehow. I also have another fan art thing that I have planned to do. So that that will be presented as it's semi Doctor Who. That will be presented on my Who Ventures channel. So yeah, I know I haven't been on my Who Ventures channel for ages, but. I am going to at some point work out a review, so start start my reviews again of Lucy Miller and Eight Audios because I got them all now, so I can go through and listen and review them. See, so this is a completely like uh, on the fly, incoherent video of the Power Miner set because I wanted to show you that. Look, I built it! Yay! Let me spin you around a bit. So we can look a bit more at the truck. So the truck, it actually just stand. Ah, take this bit off, and then this stands up, and it's a big tower thing, and it just falls to pieces when I play and stuff. But it's okay because I'm taking it apart pretty much after this video anyway because I really want to build my hotel and I need my space to build the hotel. Oh I could, uh, I might just keep it over on this side then and start my hotel and then we'll see about taking it apart. I, it's already falling apart. So yeah, I really enjoyed building it until I got to the not type it's like Lego's asking me to tie a knot. It's like no, uh, I don't know if there's a picture of the knot that you have to tie in this uh, but it's really hard in this because it's really hard to on because I find it with knots it's hard to understand where each bit of the thread is going and. The, the Lego thing is just a picture, it doesn't really tell you how to tie it. So I'm not very good at that, so I got my dad to do some of it. So yeah, thank you Paul Doc and Lego fans for watching this video and it's real cool and I'm really happy. It's fun. Ha! So yay! That's Paul Doc Power Man. Steve. Yee! So see you on another video. Yay. Thank you for watching.